Boyfriend's obsessed with video games. Hey, Buffalo Bill, I love your podcast and I'm a huge fan. My boyfriend and I love, uh, both love to listen to your rants about whatever bullshit comes to mind. Uh, I myself have ADD and can find myself rambling about something completely different than whatever it was I started to ramble about. Anyway, my boyfriend has always been a huge fan of video games and he can play them all day if he could. Uh, more recently, he has been obsessed with one game in particular for the last eight plus month and has really put a strain on our relationship. He will turn on his Xbox from the second he gets home until about four hours before he has work the next morning. Jesus. So we pretty much spend no time together unless, unless it's me watching him play with his friends. He talks to his friends while he plays online, in which case, even if I do say something to him, he either doesn't hear me or just ignores me. I've tried talking to him about it, and he refuses to change or compromise. It's even started to affect our sex life. Well, I imagine it would, because he has no time for sexy time. We are both still young and in our late 20s, and I hate that I'm practically begging him to turn off the game so we can canoodle in the sheets. I've been contemplating just breaking off our relationship of five plus years because it's been this way for months and it has only gotten worse. I'd love to hear what the wise Nia has to say as well. Thanks for all the good laughs and congratulations on both of you on the new baby birth. Thank you. Um, unfortunately, Nia's not here. Let me see if I can get her. Hold on one second. Okay, she's on her way down. Um, I would say, first of all, you've been together for five plus years. Um, initially, my first thought when you were doing this is what I would do if, if what would get, make me pay attention is I would just start going out with your friends and just start wearing fucking sexy outfits and shit, and he'll get the message immediately. If you walk out the door looking good and he's sitting there fucking playing video games and stuff and he... If he doesn't get that hint, then yeah, you got to be thinking like, well, what the, f this guy's just, this guy's more interested in this shit than, than what I'm doing over here with my fucking Christmas leggings, going out to a Christmas party, dressed like a fucking hot piece of ash over here. That's, that's what the fuck I would do. You've already tried to talk to him. Um, I got to be honest with you. I understand people becoming obsessed with video games. It's why I don't play them. But to me, this, I, I'm, a, I'm a bit of a cunt when it comes to video games. To me, that's, that's a child activity. You know what I mean? Like, what is this person working towards? What do they have for a fucking job? They come home from their job and they just play a video game for the whole fucking rest of the day. It does not sound like a driven man. Um, that's another fucking red flag. Um, so that's what I would, I would just start building a life. Initially, I would start building a life without him to see if he notices. And maybe you guys can get back to where you were. Or if he doesn't notice, then you already have a head start on getting the fuck away from this guy. So the lovely Nia's here. I'm going to hit pause and let her read this email. Um, or Nia, if you just want to, you can just read this while I continue to ramble here. Uh, it starts right here. My boyfriend's been a fan of the video games. Okay. Yada, 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 and all that shit. So that's, that's basically uh, that's what I would do. And as I mentioned a long time ago, the last video game that I played was Grand Theft Auto 3. And it literally consumed my life. I would be walking to the comedy clubs, getting on a bus, and I would be thinking about the game when I wasn't even uh, I wasn't even at home. I'd be waiting to go on stage, thinking about, okay, you know, I'll finish this set, and I'll go home, and I'll, I'll use the cheats, and I'll just go on a fucking rampage and all that shit. And it just kind of took over my life. So here's the lovely Nia with her advice. Oh. Um... First of all, can I just say that this problem really sucks, and um, it's really annoying, and that you're both in your 20s, and he's like addicted to playing video games. I'm sorry, but that's a lame ass, and you need to move on. Seriously? Five years? Five plus years. It's been this way for months, and it's only gotten worse. Yeah. You said you tried to talk to him about it, and he refuses to change. Or a compromise. Well, it's just, yeah, he obviously, his priorities are this video game. I don't know if he, is there something else going on in your relationship? Or did he have some kind of, something bad happen recently that he doesn't want to deal with or something? And that's why he's so consumed by the video games? Because I'm just trying to think, like, what normal, healthy, happy person just all of a sudden doesn't hand, want to bang his broad yeah and hands over his life to a video game like i feel like something happened 
and he's not able to like. But you talk too quietly. Okay, because you're sticking it in my face, like. <laughs> well, because you do this, you, you start talking all the way over here, and the people can't hear you. Oh, okay. Talking at the levels. Oh, all right. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's sorry. That's all. <laughs> um. Yeah, I, I would not necessarily say, listen, listen, it's the video games or me, but you can just say something along those lines of like, listen, I feel like I'm not a priority in your life, and if that's the case, then we really need to talk about this relationship, because if you're not into it, then just let me go so I can find somebody who's into me and is going to pay attention to me and not their Xbox. This is what I was saying she should do. She should just fucking dress like a whore and go out that night and just see if he notices, like just have like fucking, you know the fucking thigh highs on and all that shit if he doesn't get it then thigh highs yeah just dress like a fucking mean, whore thigh highs there's stockings they go up to your thighs and then they stop are. and there's this glorious little fucking you're so, hint of you're, leg you're so old that you feel like women are going out in like thigh highs like they're like saloon mistresses like on Westworld. Why? Because I came of age in the 1800s. <laughs> why are you why are you acting like you guys don't always whore it up every fucking holiday? Mm -hmm. You whore it up on your birthday. You whore it up on Halloween. You whore it up on Christmas. Sex it up. It's called being yeah. sexy. Sexing it up. Sexing, Sexing it up. up Putting your clam on the Sexing fucking platter. That's, That's what different. you guys do. It's different. To yeah. Be titties sexy. out. Clam peeking out from no, underneath the sheet. No, because I don't. I don't believe in that passive aggressive shit. It's just like, listen, motherfucker, are you into this or not? Because if not, then I need to move on. The thing is, though, honey, he's made his choice. That's what I think that you don't necessarily want to fully admit to. He's made his choice. He's more interested in the video game for whatever reason. He won't talk about it. He won't compromise. He's made his choice. Maybe he's not into the relationship anymore. Is that a possibility? Is it a possibility that he... Maybe she needs to whore it up. <laughs> She's saying she's like trying to she's trying to like beg him to to even have sex, which is ridiculous. It could be that he's just not into the relationship anymore and he's such a fucking pussy ass puss that he's waiting for you to be the one to dump him. Because a lot of people what is do he? that. A pussy ass puss? What is that? <laughs> I don't even know. But you know, some people are they don't want to be the bad guy or they're just immature and cowardly. So they don't want to say, listen, I think we should break up because they feel guilty because it's been five plus years. So they do shit like this to like make you be the one to break up with them because they're cowards. You know what I mean? So it is possible. So in conclusion, what are you saying? I'd say dump his ass. Bye. There you go. See. All right. See that? All right. Yeah. You want to listen to me read out loud? Oh God. I know. <laughs> it must be hilarious. This uh, fucking baby realizes that I'm not good at reading. What age do you think they're going to be? <laughs> fucking turn around, kind of look up at me like, I feel like Mommy doesn't sound like this. You'll be good at reading, like, children's stories. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I walked into that one. All right, here's some adult advertising. <laughs> Ladies, it's the holiday season, and you know what that means. It's time to whore it up. Kidding. Uh, MVMT watches. Movement. We get it. Holiday shopping can be tough. I don't like to start. We get it. Like, I'm already bitching. I'm not. Oh, I think it's the, the read is, we get it. Holiday shopping can be tough. <laughs> yeah, it's more sympathy. It's not hostility, which <laughs> that's your default <laughs> emotion is hostility. This is more of a, we, yeah, we understand. Okay. Yeah, any excuse to trash Bill. <laughs> I see how it works. Now I play the victim, just like Paul Simon. When something goes wrong, I'm the first to admit it to the last one to know. Oh, Paul! <laughs> Let's work on your problems. Paulie! Paulie! Hey, there, Paulie! What do you got going on there? Those hair plugs? Is that a wig? Is that a comb over? <laughs> Movement watches. All that give gift giving anxiety can disappear with the press of a button. These watches make the perfect purchase for just about anyone in your life. Guy or girl, and remember, they start at only $95. You, you have heard me talk about movement watches, and I am sure you got one yourself. Now let's finish your holiday shop and get movement watches for somebody on your list. This is great. Movement watches just start at 95 bucks. At a department store, you're looking at four to 500 bucks. Classic designs, quality construction, and styled in minimalist Style minimums, over 500,000 watches sold in over 160 countries. Get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns going by going to movementwatches.com slash burr. This watch has a really clean design, and uh, now is the time to step up your watch game. Go to movementwatches.com slash burr. Join the movement.